All right, it's toss time, and this is the first ODI of the five games to be played between Pakistan and New Zealand. I've got uh, match referee Chris Broad alongside me. The two captains, of course, Babar Azam and Tom Latham, and Babar has the coin. It's heads is the call. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's gone far away from us. <laughs> Tails it is. Babar, uh, first of all, what are you going to do? Uh, we will ball first. Um, ball first. Yeah. Looking at the surface, I mean, you know that this is a high-scoring ground. Chasing, you feel, do you factor in your mind also? What are the you know, factors that made you decide to bat second? Uh, to be honest, yes. Uh, second time, uh, you know, uh, do factor away. And uh, second time, much better than first inning, uh, the behave wicket. So, yeah, uh, we will try to uh, bowl in the first 10 hours. Yeah, we are already doing a few matches, so we will try to uh, that uh, momentum in this match. Also, as a captain, gives you a good outing before the World Cup. I know it's still later in the year, but five games. That's the only ODI that Pakistan is playing before that. Yeah, we have a two big uh, events uh, coming up. So we will try to utilize that matches uh, for that uh, big event. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's the first game, so I can't really say what team you're playing. <laughs> but uh, a fair mix of quick, fast bowlers and, of course, yourself in the top in the order. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, our senior fast bowlers, uh, Shaheen, uh, Naseem and Haris is playing, and Shan playing, and uh, Suman Ali Aga and the rest of the, the two openers. Yeah, yeah. And I oh. <laughs> already tell all the team. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, have a good one. Thanks, yeah. Tom, uh, happy batting first? Yeah, obviously, looks uh, a regional surface where we're going to have a bowl, but um, I guess we've got a good opportunity first up to, uh, to put some runs on the board. So, uh, as I said, it looks, uh, it looks a pretty decent wicket, so uh, I'm sure it's not going to change too much throughout the innings. Great finish to the uh, T20 series. Uh, just provides you that extra momentum coming into the 50 over version. Yeah, you're right. Even though it's a change of format, I guess the, the confidence of the group's got, um, you know, after that last game, uh, obviously the, the guys chased, chased really well. Um, obviously, we've got to set first, but um, yeah, I guess confidence is really important in group. And, and I guess we built a little bit of that up over the last couple of games. B batting first, are you going to move ahead with some score in your mind or you just follow how it goes through the overs? Uh, obviously, you know, there's, I think there's been limited games here uh, over the past sort of few years. So I guess for us, it's trying to adapt and sort of move quickly with what we think is a pass score. And, and I guess that comes down to our communication as a batting group. So uh, we have to wait and see what it looks like. All right. Have a good one. Cheers. Thank you. Well, we know now that uh, Pakistan have won the toss. They've decided to bowl first. Now, let's talk about the surface. Sana has joined us. Sana, first of all, welcome to you right here in this ODI series. What do you make of this surface here? Thank you so much, Sikandar. Yes, I think when you see this pitch, there are smaller cracks, more compact cracks when you look at the surface. So I do feel that the spinners might have a bit more say than they had in T20 because it looks more drier and the, uh, the cracks are a bit smaller. Now, we've seen some high-scoring games out here. The square is known to you know, produce high scores. If you happen to see Mark Chapman and how he performed, what do you think made him stand out compared to the other batters from New Zealand? I think now the batters have, know that the change of pace is going to be a very important thing. What he did really well is you need a big heart to come down to 150-plus bowler, use your feet and create those lengths. So what he did really well was created that length and he had an answer for every shot, every ball that was bowled to him. So now, according to you, a quick one, what lens or what are the key things that the bowlers should do out here then? I do think change of pace again, but then you have to uh, take it away from the reach of the batter. So maybe more wider, slow ones, not within the body and bounces. Yes, the, the boundaries are small, but a well-directed bouncer, it's still going to ask an important question from the batters. Well, well, we know it's going to be a runs galore. Let's find out how many New Zealand puts up batting first. <laughs> 